Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use Samsung Pay. It's kind of like Apple Pay or Google Pay, except it has one thing that those don't. The ability to work in stores without NFC. Hey, before we jump in, take a moment and subscribe to our channel. We have a new how-to video every week on topics ranging from smartphones and computers to apps and smart home paraphernalia. Okay, so Samsung Pay is basically an e-wallet and it's been around for five years. It's kind of like a kindergartner that hasn't learned eye rolls yet. That's right, Elliot, I'm talking about you. Don't you eye roll me. <sighs> Samsung Pay lets you use your phone to pay for things as opposed to a physical credit or debit card. And where it's different than its other pay rivals is the fact that it works in stores with both NFC terminals as well as those older magnetic stripe ones, the ones where you're swiping, you know? Yeah. And that bodes well in a world where we are practicing social distancing and minimal physical contact. So let's get ready to set up Samsung Pay. How about this? Let's get ready to get Samsung paid out. That one. Oh, I got it. What day is it? Samsung payday. This is where you're going to put in the cool graphics and music, right? Otherwise, you kind of look like an idiot. <laughs> to set up Samsung Pay, go to your Samsung phone. And if you don't have it already installed, install the Samsung Pay app. Open it up and then sign in with your Samsung account. Or if you don't have one, set one up. Once you have that set up, the app will prompt you to register a PIN number, a fingerprint, or an iris scan if you don't already have one set up on your phone. Hey, once you have all that set up, you can now finally add a credit card, a debit card, a gift card, a membership card, and even better, you can use your camera to add it to your phone. But make sure to check out all the card's details and make sure they're correct, like your name, the card number, and the expiration date. Next, Samsung Pay will verify your information with your bank and confirm it via a text message, a phone call, or an email. And once that's done, well, you're ready to go. So let's talk about how to use Samsung Pay. From the lock screen, swipe up. Select the card you want to pay with, then place your finger on the fingerprint scanner to verify or an iris scan or your PIN number, whatever you have set up. Finally, hold the back of the phone against the payment terminal. So you might be wondering how Samsung's able to provide this convenient service without keeping all your card information on your phone. Well, what they do is they take that account information and encrypt it, and they store it on a separate, and this is their term, not mine, data vault. Uh, full disclosure, data vault is also the name of my Kraftwerk cover band. We perform Monday nights down on the south side at Aces. You could come check us out once uh, all this is over. And if you tell them Patrick sent you, they're gonna give you a two for one ice cold bottle of nickel. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Hey, Elliot, uh, stop with that. I see you, stop eye rolling me. It's a great band. You don't understand. Every time you make a purchase, your phone sends two pieces of data to the payment terminal. The first is a 16 digit token that represents your card's number. The second is a one time code or cryptogram that is generated by your encryption key. So Samsung Pay, yeah, it's secure. So let's talk more about how Samsung Pay works at so many different terminals across so many different stores. And it comes down to two things. It has NFC, just like Apple Pay and Google Pay do, but it also has a thing, a really cool thing called MST, which stands for Magnetic Secure Transmission. And what this does is the phone emits an MST signal towards the terminal, and the terminal reads it just like you would read a credit card being swiped. Now, MST, while it is cool, especially for those older terminals, is not as reliable as NFC, so you might have to reposition your phone or get it really close for it to read and go through. Like other phone payment systems, Samsung Pay is more than just, well, being used for paying things on a register. You can actually store things like your membership cards, your loyalty cards, and gift cards on it too. And they even offer cash back with different transactions, services, and vendors. You'll have to look it up on their website to get all the details. And then there's Samsung Pay Cash, which is kind of like Apple Cash and Google Pay Cash and kind of not like them at the same time. Let me explain. Apple and Google let you send your friends and family money through Apple Pay and through Google Pay accordingly. So if I'm on an iPhone, I can use iMessage to send a friend money. If I'm on an Android phone, I can use the Messages app or uh, Gmail to send money. Now Samsung, hmm, you got a couple things. First you gotta do is you gotta set up a prepaid debit card called Samsung Pay Cash. And 
By the way, when you load the card, there is a small, small, small fee you gotta pay every time you do that. Next, the person you're sending the money to has to have a Samsung phone, has to have Samsung Pay turned on, and also has to have one of these prepaid Samsung Pay cash cards. So can you send your friends and family money? Yeah, absolutely, but it's very limited, very limited. Also, with Samsung Pay Cash, you can use it to buy things in certain apps as well as online. Again, this seems very limited to just Samsung apps, so I could use it for like the Galaxy Store, for example. So to wrap up, Samsung Pay, aside from the prepaid part, is pretty cool in my book, but I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of Samsung Pay? Are you using it? Do you have tips and tricks to share? If so, throw them in the comments. Also, if you have questions, throw those in the comments and we'll do our best to get through them. And before you click away, take a moment, subscribe to our channel. And last, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. We really have much to do here, because <laughs> yeah, this 